program online, the, the uh, CV for him online indicates that he is uh, a South African dissident of some sort, that he's been uh, exiled or something like that, a political a refugee. In point of fact, he's a convicted felon. And I have all that information in that packet right there and online at my website as well. Take away some of those cover-ups that I have. What you really see going on is... Well, what I see going on is the fact that you're a felon. Okay, that's well documented. I was an AG, and now I have the AG report from South Africa there uh, for you right there. Great morning, Adam, and happy birthday, brother. Listen. I know life is tough out there in the Big Apple, you know, I've lived out there, I understand, but it's so hard for you, all those lawsuits that keep popping up, it's just crazy, isn't it? But, you know, you'll be okay, because I'm pretty sure you've got money stashed somewhere in your little phony bankruptcy you're running right now, I bet your daughter's hiding your money, how about that? I really believe that, I can't prove it, but I do know that you've hidden assets before, like a Porsche 911 like this one, gone off the cape, perhaps? Anyway, uh, right now, I'm going to rip on you and your establishment pals like there's no tomorrow. So get your popcorn ready, dude. Look here, folks, for the full story about the allegedly bankrupt Adam Klein. First of all, along the way, uh, he's had friends help him out, including Judge Gibson, who was one of the three judges to never allow my cameras in court. And it's uh, Judge Spencer Kagan, too, who in my book should have recused himself because of his unique relationship with Lee Levine and Bowser. They helped him get out from under a malpractice lawsuit during his ascension to the bench. And Lee Levine Bowser was representing, you know, Adam Klein in the child support issue with one of Klein's children, okay? The one that he doesn't like, the daughter he doesn't like. More on that later, okay? Uh, instead of accusing himself, Kagan was caught sending emails to a former uh, beer swilling intern about the case and posting ass crack pictures online. That's the kind of guys that you know Klein has working for him. Kagan, the judge, uh, asks one of his other victims, a guy named Jay Corp, who won on appeal after the judge screwed him. He asked Corp to. to Ask me to remove the videos from YouTube. How disgusting. I told Jay to tell him, hell no. Hell to the no. It stays up. Now, and it's still up. So, now back to Adam Klein. He's a convicted felon and a bad dad. A deadbeat dad, according to his unfavored daughter. Furthermore, here's the conviction for fraud and embezzlement. see what else oh yeah he also settled an e-music lawsuit for sexual harassment with Amy McCormick all right so uh, of course I was noting these issues years before anybody else mind you as usual I told the provost at Columbia Journalism School they ignored it I told the Spence school when I compared it to my prep school Hawken and noted that unlike Spence we don't have felons teaching our children at Hawken all right so next, when Pitchfork approached me a couple years ago, I gave them information that they used, but of course the editors left out much of it on the cutting room floor, except for the South African conviction. You know, well I'm here to dust it off and present it to the whole wide world so that everybody can have the full picture. And I'll be in touch with my people back in South Africa again shortly. Uh, and along with Mr. Kinsey, uh, he might be stateside now. He sued Adam uh, Klein for fraud. All right, there you go, folks. Uh, I think that's about it. Over and out. KingCast, keeping you abreast of news that matters. Real cameras, real news, for real people. Uh, I'm conducting an investigation. I've discovered that uh, there's a, an international felon on your board of directors here. My name is Adam Klein. And, uh, you know, it's a pretty serious situation. I went to prep school myself, and I know that uh, we wouldn't tolerate any people on our board, you know, being international felons. But Adam Klein is. And your camera is not permitted anywhere on well, I could contact you because I want to know about an international felon, ma'am. May I ask your name? May I ask your name, ma'am? you care that you have international felons on your board of directors, or is that standard procedure here at Spence? We're KingCast.net. 
We are here near the inner sanctum of the provost office at Columbia University. We're here at kingcast.net, Columbia University. We're going to take a walk over to the office of the new provost who is behind this building. And we're here because uh, we're going to let them know about Adam Klein, who's an adjunct faculty member here and the uh, CEO of eMusic. He's a liar and a felon. The point of fact, he's a convicted felon. I told Provost okay. Steele before he left, uh -huh. but nobody did anything, so I figured my... Yeah, you know, um, it's been well documented, anything. And I notified Provost Steele of it some time ago. Didn't do anything. I told Provost Steele about it before he left. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think it's a very serious matter, and I think it's something that you all should take a look at. Hi there. Hello. Uh, I'm with KingCast.net. Here's my card. I just want to alert you to the fact that you have an adjunct faculty member here named Adam Klein, and your representations on the website are that he's uh, a fugitive, a uh, political fugitive, a refugee from South Africa. Am I being a uh, You're not a friend. No. And uh, in point of fact, he's actually a felon. And that's uh, all proved here in this documentation I have for you. Okay. And he also doesn't like paying child support too much. So I thought you guys would want to know this. I told Provost Steele about it before he left. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think it's a very serious matter. And I think it's something that you all should take a look at. Uh, he's seen the child maybe 10 times in 20 years. And he's just someone I really wouldn't want on my staff. And he was fired for embezzlement out of South Africa. All that's on my website and in some of the documents you have there before you. So if you could forward that to the appropriate personnel, I think it might be sure. a good thing. Okay. And, Thank uh, you. Your yes. information is here as well? or Of course. Yeah. Okay, Indeed. great. Thank and, you. Uh, yeah, have a great week. Take care. And there we are, folks. Breaking it down, keeping it real. Kingcast.net. TV now for the future. I won't keep you long, but uh, you're not being filmed. I just want to document the fact that I'm doing this. Uh, I'm from KingCast.net. Some information regarding your adjunct professor, Adam Klein. Uh, the program online, the, the uh, CV for him online, indicates that he is uh, a South African dissident of some sort, that he's been uh, exiled or something like that, a political a refugee. In point of fact, he's a convicted felon. And I have all that information in that packet right there and online at my website as well. Okay. Um, but I think that's, you know, a compelling issue that, you know, he doesn't like paying child support too much either. Well, folks, KingCast.net, we're now at the dean's office. Uh, <laughs> Hello, sir. How are you? I'm going to leave this off for you. Uh, you're not being filmed, but I do want to document the fact that I'm leaving some information regarding uh, adjunct faculty member Adam Klein, uh, who, contrary to the representations on your website about being a political uh, exile from South Africa, is in fact a convicted felon. Okay. I have this information documented in here. Uh, Bomat Co Corporation, Bomat Limited, fired him for uh, embezzlement, and uh, it's been well documented, but nobody's done anything. Now, people may or may not like uh, the direction that eMusic has taken over the past years, but some people apparently don't like Adam Klein either. And that's why, uh, apparently why some companies like Hasbro and uh, Ask Jeeves have put his separation agreements online in the public light. Uh, this is a compelling issue when you have someone with that kind of power over the American public, and I think uh, it uh, merits disclosure. Get away, shine.